Ozone therapy is the utilization of O3 gas, uh, which has a lot of interesting properties to it. It has a pro-inflammatory effect when we first use it, uh, so it's helpful for killing off pathogenic species, whether it's bacterial, fungal, or parasitic. Uh, and then it has a sort of anti-inflammatory effect after the, after the fact, so that it decreases inflammation after causing more inflammation up front. Um, so this can be really important for healing a lot of different um, disease states. Uh, with ozone insufflation, we draw up ozone gas and push it throughout the sinuses. Uh, that is really useful for patients with recurrent sinusitis or chronic sinusitis, people who are very prone to sinus infections. Um, it is also very useful for patients with a lot of different chronic diseases, whether it's mold toxicity or Lyme disease or uh, some of the other Lyme co-infections. A lot of times that comes alongside um, it's some sort of an infection uh, or disease state in the sinuses as well uh, because it's a very good place for bacteria, yeast, uh, species to really be able to um, persist without detection from the immune system. Uh, and so a lot of times patients will notice a lot of chronic congestion, a lot of uh, kind of deepening of bags or purple under their eyes with more of allergic shiners or it could be histamine release secondary to some kind of an infection being present. Um, a lot of these patients will also notice post-nasal drip, especially when they first wake up in the morning, they've got to clear their throat, they got to blow their nose a lot. A lot of times that's sub-threshold infections or chronic infections that are taking hold for long periods of time that aren't causing some of the things we normally associate with a sinus infection, like fever and major pressure and pain, but they're still having issues. And so our first step here is usually to detect the presence of these pathogens by doing a nasal swab, sending it off to the lab and seeing if there's any pathogenic bacteria or fungal species. And if there are, we start to do um, ozone insufflations in which we drop ozone gas, push it into the sinuses. And we do that once a week for anywhere from four to eight weeks, depending on the severity of the infection. Uh, we've seen a lot of great results with that, a lot of clearing of infections, a lot of symptoms starting to clear up that people might not have ever known was related to their sinuses.